Hi, Mark Rekolowicz here along with Ryan Leong here at the Shark Tank. And it was uh, a laugher from uh, a standpoint where the Edmonton Oilers just pretty much kicked the San Jose Sharks ass. 7-1 tonight. Uh, yeah, everyone's pretty much in, in their mother scoring against the San Jose Sharks. <laughs> <laughs> Connor McDavid had two goals and assist. Leon Dreisaitl, a goal with, to assist. And then uh, Ryan, Ryan Newton Hopkins, also goal to assist. assist. And then uh, Jack Campbell, who's uh, been their start goaltender for these last two games. Uh, back to back starts tonight 25 of 26 saves. Uh, uh, 25 shots, shots stopped. Yeah, 25 shots, uh, saves on 26 shots, excuse me. And he had an amazing save against Mark Ever Vlasic, who we thought ever was going to be the first Sharks goal. It didn't end up being the first Sharks goal. It was an amazing save. And the Sharks did get it went late in the game with a uh, tip in from Oscar Lindblom off of Matt Bennings' shot. But this was just a game where I think everyone knew coming in that Edmonton was going to flex their muscle and be the team that, that the Edmonton Oilers are. You know, they're chasing Vegas and L.A. right now in the Pacific Division for a top of the standings, and they're trying to get that playoff spot. So this team, despite not having Evander Kane on the team, has been playing very well these last few games. These are the type of games that a, a team like Edmonton needs to win if they want to be a true playoff contender. Tomorrow they got to face a tough Golden Knights team in Vegas on the road. It's going to conclude the road trip, and I think that the way this team is playing, I think they have a good chance to beat Vegas tomorrow, Ryan. No, I think so too. I mean, you, we have Connor McDavid uh, setting the table for this team, and you got stars like Dry Seidel and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and I can go on and on down the list. And the great goaltending by Jack Campbell. I mean, this team is stacked. I mean, I knew the Sharks were going to lose pretty badly. I, though, I predicted five to one. Marco here was correct. He predicted the the score of what ended, ended up being seven to one final. Oscar Lindblom got the lucky bounce in goal at the last minute, but too little, too late. Matt Benning playing def defense was terrible. Uh, he was absolutely awful. I, on my count alone, and I don't pay attention as much as some of these other guys do. I counted at least three key turnovers that led to goals. Yeah, and you know he was on the ice for a little, I know four of the seven that I saw. And you know you, when you leave your goaltender hung out to dry, it doesn't matter who it is. Whether it could have been it was Kapokakinen tonight, but it could have been James Reimer, it could have been someone from the Barracuda. It didn't matter. The, the defense has been playing not great these last two games. It was also exemplified in, against LA the other night. And again, tonight, when you f face a team that has all that firepower like Edmonton and you play that way in your own defensive zone, you're going to get a 7-1 score like we did tonight. No, and I, I can't I can't blame uh, David Quinn, the Sharks head coach, who uh, I caught a little bit of his post game as I was using the men's room, and he just kept saying that the team stunk. Either the defense stunk or special teams, offense. I mean, this whole, this team right now, this Sharks team, is just is sailing without a rudder right now or sail. It's just really, really a, a, a just a directionless team right now, you know? They, they really are, and it's tough because, you know, you got a mixture of young guys and, and veterans, but, like, this team is just does not that one thing that, that can make them come can, can cohesive and make them come together to put in any kind of a win streak together. It's just been tough sledding for this team. Uh, you know, we I think we all knew this, that there was, there was going to be growing pains and David Quinn's first year as the head coach for the San Jose Sharks, and we're experiencing right now. And we saw it tonight, 7-1. It doesn't getting really much more worse than that. No, it doesn't. And, and, I'm sorry, go ahead, Ryan. I was going to say, what, three home wins again, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah. I mean, what is it? We're already in, like, January. It's, like, January 13th. You know, yeah. Friday the 13th. Oops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> At least there was nobody named Jason on this team, huh? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And, and, but, you know, they pretty much played like they were at, at, at the lake and getting <laughs> slaughtered. That's what it was, a slaughter tonight. <laughs> it sure was, unfortunately. Well, you know, fans, I mean, uh, you know, have, have a chance to uh, – Catch us again. We'll be at the Niners game tomorrow. Marco and myself will be there, and we'll do another report from the uh, from the press box post game. Look forward to that, and uh, you know, hopefully the Sharks team will find a way to uh, turn it around on Monday when they uh, host the New Jersey Devils. I was going to say it's not going to get any easier for this team because they got the New, New Jersey Devils coming in tonight uh, on Monday, Martin Luther King Day. They just beat up on the poor Anaheim Ducks earlier tonight, so this is going to be another tough test for this San Jose Sharks team. Will they respond? Can they get it together? Because this is a team where they got to measure themselves up against. And they've got to find a way to score the first goal. This team does not do well. I don't have the stats in front of me. We'll find it out for next time. But when this Sharks team falls behind one nothing, before you know it, they're down 3 nothing like they were tonight. Or rather, in this case, 5 nothing. Yeah. And, again, you don't want to chase the game. The Sharks don't have the talent to be able to chase the game from behind. Just that they, they don't have it this year, and they, they won't have it for the immediate future. So that pretty much wraps it up here from the Shark Tank live at SAP Center for Ryan Leong, Mark Rikolovich. 
Bay Area Sports Wrap. We'll see you next time.